I do have a couple of housekeeping items to get to first. Um, number one, I was noticing I was getting notifications from my two landers that are currently sitting on the moon surface, Moon R4 and the Moon R4B. Um, that's because they're running out of electricity as they go through the night. And I thought I had that all worked out and then I realized, oh wait a second, I don't think I ever figured out the electricity cost of the lights. I always sort of forget to add on the lights. The lights are pretty trivial. But the only thing they're running is a seismic scan, and the seismic scan is also pretty trivial, and I think probably the lights are uh, making a reasonable contribution to it. So thankfully, I don't have to go out there to fix it. If I click, for instance, here on Moon R4, and if we go to automation, I can actually turn off all the lights from here. You can also set up some uh, automated features so that it'll... Whoops, put that back so that it'll turn them on and off automatically, but it's really great not having to go to the actual vehicle itself. Uh, this again is Kerbalism that's adding in this little menu, and if I go back, yeah, Moon R4B, that's the other one, and then it only has two lights. We'll turn off those lights, and hopefully that will uh, solve the problems with the with the with it running out of electricity. You can see the seismic scan is still going. It's still got more than 13 days to go, so it'll be a little while till we get all the science back from that. Um, what else we gotta do? Oh yeah, I said we have some rescues to do, so let's get into mission control. Take a look at that. So if we take a look at our active contracts, I got to rescue Warrior King from orbit and John N from orbit. I also have available, if I get into the Recover and Rescues, uh, Mac the G has to be rescued from Orbit. Again, these are all Patreon names that I'm, that I'm adding in here. Um, there was a second one, but it expired, unfortunately. But I'm going to grab the Rescue uh, Mac the G. They're all in low orbit. It'll be easy to get them. I'm going to rescue two of these, uh, probably starting right off. It shouldn't take too long. And then I want to get into the build for that uh sample and return type of mission i also want to take a look at some other types of missions here uh under career evolution i was spying these ahead of time and underneath crude milestones i have a milestone to put two kerbals in orbit and considering i have right now an orbiter that can hold two kerbals um Geez, I have the vessel ready to do this, so I might as well do this right now. In fact, I'm kind of curious if rescuing two Kerbals at the same time will satisfy the conditions of this contract. If not, we'll launch it again at some point in the future and, uh, and get the contract that way. Underneath Collecting Science, let's again close this one up, Collecting Science. I have Get Some Science Data from Space Around Kerbin. I actually have an idea we're getting some more science from space around Kerbin. I haven't quite exhausted all of that. You have to be a little bit careful. There has to be science there for you to collect in order to do this contract. It's not like in stock where you can collect nothing and it satisfies it. But I do have something I can collect, so I have an idea for that one. Um, I've also installed a new contract pack, giving aircraft purpose. Um, if people that have watched my previous series to this one, I had giving aircraft purpose for quite some time um, and then I got rid of it and the reason I got rid of it was because of these KSC Coast Guard ones which are fun at first uh, I'll, once they're available I'll show you them um, they're fun at first for rescuing Kerbals from the surface of the uh, from Kerbin's surface and they're fun for a while but they're only two and they just oscillate back and forth between them and this one automatically cuts off the rescue from space contracts, which I so enjoy doing, so I got rid of giving aircraft purpose before I realized that, wait a minute, you can just adjust that in the settings. So now I have both, <laughs> I'm happy with that. And this is a contract here, build and fly your first plane. I mean, I've already got a plane. All I gotta do is fly it. And this will give me some excuses to do more things with Kerbals, even if I don't have the rockets to do a lot of stuff in space with them just yet. And uh, I think that's a worthwhile thing. And finally, this one I spotted was interesting, is to once again reposition Moon R1 to adjust its orbit to a new location 
And I went and checked. I think I got the Delta V on Moonar 1. If you've forgotten Moonar 1, uh, Moonar 1 did my first flyby of the moon quite some time ago. And then we had another contract to readjust its orbit. I used the moon to do a lot of the legwork for that. This is another readjustment. And I'm going to show you the orbit because I think it's really interesting. We'll grab that one. But if we take a look, I might even start with this. If we take a look at Moonar 1, there it is there. There's Moonar 1 in this yellow orbit. Can we turn off these things? Yes, we can see this this way. There's Moonar 1 in its current orbit, this yellow orbit. It wants me to put this into the blue orbit. The apoapsis of the blue orbit and the uh, yellow orbit and the periapsis are exactly the same. The plane is exactly the same. What you need to do is change the argument of the periapsis. Move the periapsis from here to here. And I thought that was a really interesting uh, challenge to try and see to do that to see how the, it's not changing the inclination, not changing the apoapsis and periapsis, simply trying to take this orbit and rotate it into the blue orbit. And in fact, I think I might go and jump and do that right now. Uh, we probably won't do the actual burn. The period of this orbit is pretty long. Um, but we can at least set it up and stick it into alarm clock and come back to it later. So here is Moonar 1. It's such an old probe. And uh, here, let's get rid of the con. Oh, actually, I should probably look at the contracts. Let's see. This one here. We're going to add this new mission. This is Moonar 1 once again. Moonar 1's done a lot of contracts for me. And we'll go to here. Okay, so we need to reach these orbital parameters. So let's take a look at our orbit. There's us, and there's the blue orbit. And this, I don't know if I can do this in a single burn or not, but a lot of this is going to be radial to try and take this, this burn and twist it. And the logical places to attempt this is where the two orbits cross, down here, close to closer to Kerbin, and then this one way out far away from Kerbin. And because most of this is gonna be radial, I think the best place to do this burn is way out here, um, away from Kerbin. If you're doing burns that aren't prograde and retrograde, this is where you wanna do it. Um, out as far away from Kerbin as you can. Now, I've never actually done something like this, so, I think what I need, to, I need to bring this part of this trajectory towards this blue one. So that looks to me like I got to burn radially in like this. See that? That's bringing it that way. Um, that is messing up the periapsis. So I need to bring, no, maybe the other way. <laughs> this might take a bit of play. Maybe this wasn't such a great idea. Uh, let's get rid of this. This is just in the way right now. Um... Bring that way and then bring us down. Oh, 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 oh. I want that periapsis right there. What I might just do is just get the periapsis in the right spot. A little more this way. A little more down. A little more this way. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. I think I'm getting to it. A little more down. Now, I can see here I do have an argument of periapsis of 351.5 degrees. That's the target. And if I click over here, it's giving me my projected argument of periapsis. I'm closing in on it. A little bit more. What is it? 351.5 I need this to be. Oh, I think I think I think I think we can get this to work. Oh, look at that. I think we're, I was I was worried this was going to take multiple burns to do, but I think we're really close right now. So 351.5. What's our burn at? 264. Oh no, it's a little bit too much. It is a little bit too much. I thought I thought I could get away with this. You can see it's a little bit in the red. What do I I got 206. Okay, I, I can do this. I can I can do this. I think I can get this close enough. Uh, let's get into, uh, click on the maneuver. Let's re we got to bring this down. So let's bring down some of this radialness. I got to bring this below 260 meters per second for us to be able to do this. Um, Two hundred. 
Okay, this is going to be the last maneuver this thing's ever going to do. The argument of periapsis is 351.4. The target is 351.5. I really do think... There, 301. The target apoapsis is 20.719. And the target periapsis is 4.78. Maybe a little, a little less here, and then a little more this way. Oh, now I'm into the into the red again. I gotta realize, you know what? I think this is gonna be close enough. I'm sure this will be close enough. Two twenty-seven two. No, I, I was better before. Bring this down. I think I was better before, and then oops, this way. Yeah. Okay, I'm a little over. Should I? I had it, and then I started goofing about. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this. The argument of periapsis is bang on. I think the apoapsis and periapsis are close enough. Uh, I, uh, I think it's close enough. We're gonna, I'm going to go with this. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Uh, but we're going to call it. Now, this burn's not... Oh, it's coming up in three days. That's closer than I thought it would be. But what we're going to do is open up alarm clock. Whoops. Add this in. Give myself like five minutes warning. It's only coming up in three days. Might get to this today, might not. We'll see what happens. But I thought that was... I love these contracts that are for free, but this will definitely be the last orbital adjustment for Moon R1. But it should be very happy with itself, to be quite honest. I've been really not putting on uh, the Kerbal Engineer chips on my rockets. I've gotten very used to um, just using the stock tools. Uh, they, they, they seem to work pretty good. Okay, uh, into the VAB we go. We gonna rescue. We got some Kerbals to rescue. It says, Mike, have you seen Starship SN10? I definitely watched Starship SN10 yesterday uh, on its leaning tower of Pisa landing. <laughs> Actually, it was it was spectacular and it was brilliant. I shouldn't I shouldn't get I shouldn't ever get down on something like that. Um, it was an amazing achievement and and then it was literally. Um, I, I finally turned off the stream. It looked like, oh, fire's out. It looks like everything's calmed down. Turned off the stream and then found out it was two minutes after that that the thing blew up. <laughs> okay, let's bring up our new orbiter here. Our new orbiter is the Pug-1-A3. This is the one that was doing the rescues. We've made some improvements to it. The Pug engine has been upgraded. It's now of high quality and has more ignitions on it. Uh, I've also cleaned it up, made it look, I think, a little bit better. I added in a couple of struts here as well. And also, because it, as it was coming through the atmosphere, it was uh, tumbling a little bit on its re-entry. I put these tail fins on, didn't test them. We'll see how they go. But technically, this thing is on a new booster. So I want to save this booster so what I'm gonna do to save this booster so I can use it in the future, I know it looks a lot like my old booster, but I switched out the engine on the bottom. So it is actually technically a new booster. Um, so I'm going to use the reroute tool. We're gonna make the decoupler, the root part, and then we're gonna take our payload and we're gonna chuck it away. And then I got a new mod which adds in one part that I think is a pretty neat part for this. What I've been doing in the past to figure out what kind of payload this thing could lift is I would simply take like my largest fuel cans and start stacking them on here for a dummy payload until I got the Delta V where I want. But I want to show you this part. This is a utility weight. And uh, all it is is just... I think it should look like a block of concrete, but <laughs> it's... 
<laughs> it's what it is. It's just a weight. It doesn't do anything. It does have command control and wheel authority, but otherwise, it, I guess if you wanted to test launch your, your thing, but it really doesn't do anything. But what you can do is adjust its size. It has different sizes you can put on it. See? And you can also adjust its mass. So what I want to do is take a look at my Delta V. Hopefully these two are agreeing. 4,355, yep. And I want to increase the mass until, how heavy can I make this? Oh, I can make it pretty heavy. <laughs> until the Delta V is around 3,000, just over 3,600 meters per second. So I think that is pretty darn close to what the payload limit is for this particular booster. Probably a little bit on the light side. But now what I can do is I can make this the root part. I can take this away and I can look at what's the mass that I got here. There's no way it's only 20 kilograms. There's no way I added only 20 kilograms no, it's, yeah. Okay, let's do this again. I'm watching the Delta V total. I think I was looking at the wrong, oh, now I'm over. Okay, that does too much. So I'm gonna make a second one of these. Oh there. This needs to be the, no, no, I had it right. This is the root part gonna make a second one of these and then I'm gonna decrease the mass on this one I think it's easier than fiddling with fuel cans there we go so now I got 3683 meters per second so this thing should be able to get into orbit now if I make this the root part take that away look at the mass 2.5 tons so this thing should be able to lift 2.5 tons into orbit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this in a subassembly. There we go. This is the Reliant. Reliant 1-R uh, Radial Thumper 2. And payload to LKO. Oh my gosh. Payload to LKO of... 2.5 tons. Perfect. 